I have a platform or resources that I can do something with to change the world for the better, then that's what I want to do. That mindset has been a part of philanthropist and business leader Melinda French Gates's DNA for decades. So in 2019, you committed $1 billion over 10 years to expand women's power and influence in the U.S. Two years later, you announced that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation would donate $2.1 billion over the next five years. What does it mean to this woman to uplift other women? Society will be completely different than we know it today if women have equal power, really equal power, where they're making decisions, they're controlling resources, they're setting public policy and would be better for everybody. So I look for other women and men who are doing this work because they know what really needs to happen in their communities and in their countries. Those changemakers are part of Melinda's brand new publishing imprint, named after her own New York Times bestseller, The Moment of Lift. The first book is called Radical Inclusion, written by David Moynina Singe. You talk about radical <laughs> inclusion. I like that phrase. What does that mean? It means that we stop at nothing until everybody is included. And if that means we change laws, we change laws. Making sure that people can be in the room, can be at the table, can speak and show up how they want. David is one of Sierra Leone's ministers of education. His book outlines specific steps to advocacy and how he used radical inclusion to help young girls. And on the day that I became minister, the president said no pregnant girls could not go to school. There was a long uh, ban on that. And I fought to make sure that that change happened. Today there are 1,300 pregnant girls going to school in Sierra Leone. It's a change he can be proud of with daughters of his own. And he's hoping to show readers how they too can make an impact. Change is hard and yet change is possible. Fighting for inclusion is like muscle work. Uh, if you don't use it, 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 it atrophies. In this country with women and inclusion, how are we doing in your opinion? I think it's been two steps forward, one step back, and I have been incredibly disappointed to see anything to do with women's health, reproductive health, or health in general rolled back. And so to me, we won't get there until we have enough women sitting in our halls of Congress. While focused on fighting inequities through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Melinda's personal journey has been in the spotlight. People look at you in the season that you're in in your life. Mm -hmm. What would you say to other women who they admire you, um, they know your journey, they know you've been through a divorce? Life is long and the journey has twists and turns, some that I didn't expect, but it can be very joyful. I'm in an incredibly joyful place. For her, that includes a new bundle of joy. Are you Nana? Are you Grandma? What I'm are you? Nona. You're Nona? <laughs> I'm Nona. How is and that? And it's been wonderful. I take any opportunity I can to get to see her, but it just reminds you that new life in the house is wonderful. I love it. And that new life reminds Melinda of her commitment to seek out people like David, determined to build a radically inclusive world. Everybody can be change makers. Even how you go out and interact with people in your grocery store or the bus driver or your neighbor, those small acts of kindness, they add up to big things. So listen to this, David's plan of radical inclusion, yeah. it did make a big change. A law was recently passed in Sierra Leone to not only allow pregnant girls in the classroom, mm -hmm. but it also goes on to protect learners on the autism spectrum right. and those with unseen disabilities. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, you know, what he wants his takeaway to be for all of us. Yeah. He says it's also seemingly the little things, like including a kid with a disability in a soccer yes. game with the rest of the kids. If you're coaching a squad and yes. there's a kid who doesn't get to play that often because he has a disability, let him play, yep. for example. Or if you you're in a room and somebody says something that's not right. Exactly. Speaking yeah. up, right? So this is what he means by radical inclusion. It includes all of us. So it was a, a was pleasure to was, talk with them. Yeah, that was terrific. Um, thanks for so, bringing us that. Yes, that absolutely. Was great. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.